I'm going to show you three things. Okay, I'm going to show you three pictures, and I want you to think with me. You know how they kind of like you get these puzzles sometimes. Like, what's the thing that that what's the thread that goes all the way through all of these three pictures? Okay. So we're going to try and look at each one and try and work out what's going on. Does anyone, hands up, recognize, like, what does this look like? Where is it from, specifically? Yeah, Nikhil. Stock market. This is uh, a picture of a screen at the stock market, at the stock exchange. Um, the ASX is what we call it in this country, Australian Stock Exchange, okay? Uh, what do you think these numbers represent? What are they, do you think? Anyone know? Yeah, Frank, okay, has um, it guess? Um, I, I think it's more a dollar in different countries, so um, was. Okay, so you're thinking about currency? Yes, yeah, so I might be thinking, how many US dollars can I buy with my Australian dollar? Or how many euros can I buy with my etc. Okay, that might be something. What else might it be including? Um, like the company share, how much the share went down or up? Yeah, very good. So I, um, I bought shares in Telstra. Are they doing well today? Or are they doing badly? You might see, like there's green and red. Those mean some things, okay? There was picture number one. Let's have a look at picture number two. Hmm. Mariana Trench, who's heard that phrase before? Anyone heard of the Mariana Trench? Can someone tell me something special about the Mariana Trench? What is special or unique about it? Darcy? It's the deepest point on the ocean. Yeah, very good. The very deepest spot on the bottom of the ocean floor. Less people have been to the Mariana Trench than have walked on the surface of the moon. That's how deep it is, okay? Have a look at the picture. You can see a few things there. Um, you've got the map, but then you've got this guy down here. How would you describe? What is this showing? What is this showing? Yeah, Christian. Very good. I've got kind of, number one, where the Titanic, it sank, and where its, its resting depth was. Um, then you've got this thing. What is this? This is the height of Mount Everest, which is what? what's significant about Mount Everest? It's the, yeah, Nikhil. Yeah, very good. It's the furthest away from sea level. And then you can see this is the bottom of the Mariana Trench. It's big. Okay? Right. So picture one was the stock exchange. Picture two, Mariana Trench. Here's the last one. Okay. What are we looking at? We're we looking at a thermometer. It's a thermometer, right? Now I want you to look carefully at this thermometer. What temperature is it on this thermometer? It's two room. What can you say? Like Let me like zoom in a little bit. Like yeah, that looks pretty cold. Looks pretty cold to me. Uh, one and a bit degrees. Okay. And what I want you to notice is, it's sort of there in the middle, isn't it? Like, you could get a lot warmer than that, obviously, and you can get a lot cooler. Yeah? Okay. Three pictures. Stock exchange, Mariana Trench, and then this thermometer here. Now, don't shout out an answer. I actually want you to pick up a pen now. I asked you to put them down before. I want you to pick up a pen, and underneath where your heading is, because you don't have one yet, I would like you to drop down an idea. What do you think is the idea, the one concept, that links all three of these pictures together. The stock exchange, the Mariana Trench, and my, what's well, not my, this thermometer. Jot something down. I want you to write your own idea first. And then in a minute, I'm going to ask you to turn to the person next to you. And I want you to share with them. Would you do that for a minute? Write down your idea. I'm going to pull you all together for a second. You can keep your pen in your hand. Because I heard a lot of, wrong colour, I heard a lot of different ideas. I'd like you, especially if I came around to you, but even if I didn't, let's just get some hands up and shout out, like in a word or like very, very brief. Don't give me a whole sentence. Try and boil it down. What did you see as the thread that combined? The Australian Stock Exchange, the trench and the thermometer we looked at. Jane, you had your hand up. Uh, we have the numbers that are positive negatives, like Ooh. and uh, Fancy numbers. <laughs> Fancy words. Okay, we're going to revisit these words in a second, whatever they mean. Okay, thank you very much, Jaren. Darcy, do you have a different one? Okay, there's lots of measuring happening. We've seen that numbers are about more than measuring, but these all seem to be measuring particular things. Frank? Percentage. Oh, I saw percentages. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could totally work that in. Marley, did you have a different suggestion? Yeah, comparison. Comparison, yes. I'm going to put that in here because I heard someone say we're measuring things and then we're comparing them like one to another. Okay, Nikhil, did you have a last different one? Yeah, oh, people. graphs. Ah, okay, yes. You can put all of these things, you could draw them, couldn't you, and make a picture of them. Okay. Kimmy, did you have one more? They can all measure above and below. Ah, okay, I'm going to use that. I'm going to pause there and use this as my uh, segue into this little sentence which I have written. And I'd love you to, if you have something equivalent, 
Um, on yours, you can finish off your sentence the way that I'm about to finish mine, or you can start a whole new sentence on your page there. In the Australian Stock Exchange, Mariana Trench, and the Thermometer, what we encounter, what we meet, are, hold on a second with you, numbers that are, and in fact, I'm going to use Kimmy's exact words, okay? Above and below. Now, above and below, above and below, what? Do you remember when we had a look at the Australian Stock Exchange, right? And you saw some numbers that were in red, and there were some numbers that they were in green, right? Green good, red bad. We're talking about like, are their values getting better? Or are their values getting worse? Are they getting smaller, okay? When we thought about the Mariana Trench, we thought about Everest, that goes up. And then you've got the Mariana Trench, it goes down. And then you say, well, what's right in the middle? What would you call the middle of that? And then lastly, we, had, we saw the thermometer, and we saw there was that middle temperature, which is in fact freezing point, right? All of these, we can call the zero on those scales, right? You could say, I'm at zero meters above sea level, or below sea level. I'm at sea level right now, ground level. I could say zero degrees Celsius. I could say zero, like, increase or decrease in the value of my share. So we're encountering these numbers that are above and below zero. This is the critical idea that thankfully, unlike boy bands, numbers can have more than one direction, right? You can have up, you can have down, and that's what, if you want to make your heading now, that's what we're looking at in this topic. These kinds of numbers are called integers. Integers. It's an interesting choice of name. You guys know I'm obsessed with names and what they mean. Does anyone know what integer comes from? Yeah, Nikhil. Well, I don't know what it comes from, but I know what it means. What does it mean? It means any number that's um, not a percentage. Okay, so, it's interesting. Um, when it's not a percentage, so for no, example, no, 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 is, no, no, yeah, what do you mean? Not a decimal point. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Um, I think what you're talking about is the idea that the number is, it's a whole number yeah. sort of thing, okay? And interestingly, that is where this begins. So when we say someone has integrity, right? or the hull of my ship is, is integral. We mean it's in one piece, it hasn't fallen to pieces, okay? But interestingly in this context, this is kind of an example of um, where a word begins somewhere and then it's meaning it grows. This is actually my idea, and you can put a big box around this if you like. I'll put my green over here. This is my definition for an integer. It's a number that is above or below zero. In other words, it's got this direction idea, okay? You can have, and these are the words that actually Jaron mentioned, you can have positives and negatives. Positives are the names we give to numbers that are above, and negatives are the names we give to numbers that are below. At least that's where we begin. 